Terry. Come on up here. Okay, we want to start this thing. I thought we were going to have a ribbon. Nobody brought me a ribbon. <laughs> we, uh, we want to welcome all, you, all of you here to Uncle Penn's cabin. And I uh, appreciate you coming. I want to have far you can to be here with us. But well, we got some uh, some folks I know from Nashville, Tennessee, and uh, uh, Alabama and Georgia's up here. Uh, Kentucky, naturally. Uh, call me some states out. Where y'all from? Maryland. Where? Maryland. Maryland. That's Maryland. right. That's right. <laughs> my old friend I met when I was 10 years old right here. Let's see. Uh, my boys up here, Jim Monroe. Where Dudley Cooper, one of my old friends. Hayward Spinks is supposed to be in there, but I bet he's sleeping. Frank is here. <laughs> Frank Martin's here. Uh, folks from IBM are up here. Uh, Frank Gabriel. Martin's over yonder, James. Where, who? That's yonder, Frank Martin. He's an outpiece. Okay. Frank, Frank Martin. <laughs> There's Frank. Terry Woodard's up here. Hey, good to have him up here. Hi. And uh, let's see. Uh, Uncle Pence Fiddler's up here. Uh, Gabrielle's got that. Uh, <laughs> she's going she's gonna to play a tune for you folks. Give her a hand, please. <laughs> Gabrielle is the executive director of the, the International Bluegrass Museum in Owensboro. That's right. So uh, we're all real proud of what you've done here, James. Thank it's you. Amazing. Thank beautiful, you. Beautiful, beautiful tribute. And uh, Terry was the one that donated the tree. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Terry was the one that donated this to the museum, and we're proud to have it. I can't tend it to standard or the strings will break. And I, I'm just going to let um, somebody really good, like maybe Michael, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, thank you. 
<laughs> How'd it feel, Michael? Yeah, man. I'll see. <laughs> There's two bluegrass boys. Two bluegrass boys up here. We need to come up. That was pretty. Uh, Tom, back on the other line. And the uh, guy Stevens from Missouri and Tom Ewing's over here. He's a bluegrass boy. I'm a bluegrass boy. <laughs> give, us, give us a hand if you don't mind. We spent, I got to spend about six years, seven years with my dad on the road. And I started out on the bass fiddle, and then I switched to guitar the last two years I was with him. But uh, these guys had their stories. We all have our stories about my father. We were talking about one while ago. I, we, I was coming down the I-65, and that's back when they had tow, tow booths out there. And me and Roland White got out and got some coffee. We got back in the bus and took on back to Fort Nashville. And we got down to the next tow, and somebody said, you left somebody. So it was my father who left him up there. And <laughs> <laughs> turned around to get him. <laughs> when he got in the bus, he didn't say a word to me. He waited. <laughs> he waited about a week and he said, you boys need to start checking the box now before you leave. <laughs> I'll tell some stories of <laughs> Mom, get up here. No, I don't know. <laughs> tell him something, guy. Well, I, I don't know. I don't know where to start. There are a lot of good ones. <laughs> But I tell you, there, there's a lot of people that really didn't know Bill that thought he was stuck up. But he wasn't. He was he was a deep thinking man. If you saw him standing staring all about in space, don't try to talk to him. He's got something on his mind. He may be writing a song in his mind or anything. And so it didn't take me long to learn when you could talk to him and when you couldn't. I probably talked to him more than any of the other bluegrass boys because I knew when I could talk to him and when I couldn't. And, uh, but, uh, hey, well, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I, I will tell you one about <laughs> Baker's not here to defend himself, so I'll tell you some people. A lot of you remember Doc Harris. They used to talk about him. He would bring a, he'd bring a, bring a jug of moonshine up from Georgia. Him and Baker would have a party for a day or two. <laughs> well, he, he got up there and, and they got started early Saturday afternoon and the time we did our first show on the Opry, Kenny's face was already getting red and his ears were a little bit, you know. Any of you know him, remember how he looked. Well, anyhow, Buddy Spiker told him, he said, Kenny, why don't you and Doc go ahead and have your party? And he said, I'll play fiddle for you. I'll sign the book. He said, no, I'm going to work this show or I'll take my fiddle. And he said, you're going to mess up and get fired. He said, no, I'm going to take, if I don't work this show, I'll take my fiddle and go home. I'll never come, go back to Kentucky. Well, he didn't mess up too bad, but he didn't do an outstanding job. <laughs> About... A week later, it's a couple of weeks before Bean Blossom, and uh, that that year, uh, Baker was going to record an album while he was in, uh, in uh, Bean Blossom uh, studio up in Nashville. Yeah. And he was working on some numbers that he's going to record, and we'd sit and listen to him for about two hours. Bill decided he'd go back to the back of the bus and take him a nap. He stopped and put his hand on Baker's chair as he started back there and whooped him right in the face and he said, Baker, do you know your fiddle playing just a whole lot better than you're sober? <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, I think your father would sure be proud. I wish he could see this. Yeah, I think yes. like this. We uh, one time we were headed up north uh, and stopped at the truck stop in the middle of the night. And Bill, of course, got up and went in. All the rest of us went to bed. And uh, turns out in this truck stop there was one smart aleck fellow that didn't believe who Bill was. Bill used to go around and shake everybody's hand and tell them who he was if they didn't know already. And this one smart aleck fellow said, you're not Bill Monroe. I don't believe you. You're just an old man coming in here shaking my hand. <laughs> Bill marched right out to the bus and woke everybody up. <laughs> we had to get dressed, get our instruments. 
his last words on the way in were, get your music and come on. <laughs> we went in there and played for about 30 or 45 minutes or so. We proved who he was. <laughs> I got one more, one more story. He was talking about Kenny Baker a while ago. One time, Kenny and I decided we wouldn't wear our hats to the opera one night. I told my father, I said, well, I've got to misplace my hat. He said, he didn't say much about that. Kenny came up and said, well, Bill, I've got my hat. Daddy said, well, both of you two are not going to play the opera tonight. So he sent us home, man. That ended the no hat deal. But that's, we, we just want to welcome you folks up here. Enjoy this place. Have a good time. I think we should show them the case, too. Carly, where are you? Look at this case. This is a handmade case for Uncle Ken's fiddle. Yeah, it's boy. just awesome. That is awesome. Is that something? That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody called it a coffin, but it's not. It's a fiddle case. It's not a fiddle, sure not they. It is. I, I do have a funny story. Um, <laughs> this is my boy here, Jim Monroe. Granddaddy just had open heart surgery, but he wanted to play Bean Blossom anyway, so the hospital thought it'd be good to send the, the neurosurgeon with him to Bean Blossom. So we're all at the, at the festival, and somehow Granddaddy got the surgeon to drive his limousine for him. So he always put people to work. <laughs> anyway, so this, we had a big group of musicians in there, and Granddaddy's like, this man is the worst driver I've ever had. <laughs> he has jerked his car all over the road. So as soon as he said that, the guy hit a big pothole, Granddad's like, that's it, jerk it, jerk it again. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that was, Granddaddy had a great sense of humor, though, he was funny. I, I think they're going to start playing some music, WR, aren't they? Sure. Yeah, Judge, come on up here. And then uh, Ed West is Judge here. Judge Johnson's here. And, uh, Ed West is Ed here. West, Ed West, come on up here. Ed Whitfield, Congressman Whitfield sent Ed West to be, to be here in his place today. There's Ed. Come on up here, man. Come on down. And uh, Frank Martin's here. Frank? Come on up here, Okay. Come on up here. Frank's had a vision for all of this area for many, many years, for the, the home place and an old friend of Bill's. We all got to work with him those last years of his life. Frank, you might have a story to share. Let, let just talk here, yeah, Sure. Yeah. Hey, we're we're so proud of this, James. Uh, we're proud that James made this commitment to our community and come back here and and uh, did this, and uh, we're happy. And uh, the Ohio County is very proud of the Monroe legacy here and being the home of bluegrass music. And we're super proud that James is is staying a part of it. And. Uh, this has sort of uh, confirmed his uh, continuing tie with Ohio County. I really appreciate that. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, appreciate We're just really proud to represent all of Ohio County. Again, we, we lost it for 10 years before the census. We're glad to have it back because this is the true home of bluegrass music. We couldn't be happier. So you'll see the congressman up here. I don't know that he plays any instrument I've ever seen, but maybe we'll talk him into something. <laughs> The Duke said he might sing one of two songs today. Yeah. I want to hear that. <laughs> we'll, we'll start music pretty shortly over here in the tent. And they got some heaters in that tent, so that'll, that'll warm me up a little bit there. Bill Burton was magistrate. And Bill Burton there. You can see Bill Burton up here. Uh, y'all get some barbecue now. We bought a bunch of it, so y'all eat that stuff. <laughs> and what you don't want, take, take some home with you. <laughs> uh, let's see. Anybody else got something to say? We want to thank this lady for the cake now. She brought a cake up here. Even Francis did. And uh, we appreciate that very much. Uh, when are you going to serve that cake? Whenever you serve that cake. Okay. Uh, it's a beautiful cake. It's got a picture. Y'all seen it, I guess. And uh, she'll be, I'll let her do that. She knows how to cut that stuff. So she'll be cutting that cake. Anybody else got something to say? Neil oh, Neil's Rosenberg. Where is she? Yeah. Oh. I give this fella a hand. I've known him for a lot of years. Neil Rosenberg. He's got something to say I mentioned to you. Well, it's wonderful to be here. We came from Canada. And, uh, you know, heard about the cabin. Really glad to see that it's back where it started. That's right. It's, uh, we're looking forward to a lot of uh, pleasant company and good memories. Well, this, it's a wonderful place. And I bought this meal back in 73 for my dad's birthday. Right. Yeah. And uh, he, the next day he lost a deed to it, so I had to go find that again. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got that straightened out. Yeah. But we kept it in the family all these years, you know. It's good to be back up here. Yeah. So we want to thank you all for coming out and being here with us. That's awesome. Thank you. Thank you.
be back here, James. Your dad and my grandpa rode right the church right together in the wagon. Van yeah. House, did, remember him? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. My grandpa. I can good to see you. Play guitar. Good, good to be here. <laughs> What's, uh, how old is this? I had neither. Well, here. Yeah, that's one of the guitars. Well, hey, put that up to your chin. I wish I could play a fiddle. Yeah, act like I could play. That's all I was doing. I wish I could play it better. Okay, come on, photo up. Yeah. That's yeah. pretty, that's beautiful. You're determined to make me hope this. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Yeah, yeah. That's wonderful to be able to hold this fiddle, though, you know? Yeah, yeah. I think he played that just for something else. Right on yeah. this end. Yeah, let the guy in home hold it, Right. Who made that case? The case is awesome. Isn't that something? <laughs> it doesn't look like a coffee. It's a coffee. It's sure. Yeah, man. It's got a loud sound. I've got a good I guess y'all can kind of mill around now and do what you want to do. All right. Good to have you. Nice to meet you, too.